Are you lacking the motivation to be productive during your quarantine? Well, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 Nothing, 100 Nothing.com. I am. Fuck it! The fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Okay, guys, got a question for you. Are you struggling with your lack of motivation to be productive during the time that you're at home, right? You're quarantined, you shouldn't be going out, there's nothing open anyways except the grocery stores and um, all that stuff, right? You can get outside and exercise, you can go for a run, um, you can you know, be active in that way, but for the most part, um, you're either unemployed, underemployed, or uh, working from home. So you do have a lot more time to take care of business, right? Take care of the things that you know you need to do, but um, they're just not getting done. So, you know, there's jokes about people day drinking and, you know, the kids driving them crazy and then just spending a whole day either taking naps or watching TV or whatnot, right? Well, the thing is, is that um, I think I've got some helpful hints, helpful tips that are going to help you to get more productive and you'll be motivated to actually um, be productive if you follow these little tips, okay? So the first thing is think about the things that you, you say, um, you know, you always say, I need, know I need to do those things, um, but I don't have time. You know, my job gets in the way, uh, taking kids to and from, all these other things come up. To where some days you feel like you're just you know barely getting the um, things that you need to get done uh, let alone the things that you want to get done okay so you know now you have the time to do it and you have to think about you know how you felt just several weeks ago when you know you've got this mounting you know to-do list or should do list but it wasn't getting done and when this is said and done and it's back to business as usual um, you're going to think back and say, oh, I wish I had done this, done that, whatnot, right? So whether it was cleaning out the basement, um, organizing old photos, you know, um, cleaning out closets, getting things ready for donations or just to pitch, you know, you have the time to do it now. So you know this, I'm not telling you guys anything new, you know, you are aware of this, but you still don't have that little fire to actually um, do it, right? Because a lot of times, when we're extremely stressed out, we're worried about everything, um, your focus is on the things that really are out of your hands, right? So governor says things are shut down, it's shut down. You know, you can't go to work, you can't um, go out to the mall, you can't go to a restaurant. Um, so quit thinking about it. Think about the things you can do, right? Give, give yourself back a little bit of control, um, a sense of calm, safety, security, by taking care of the things that you can do now and look at it as more of a blessing um, and an opportunity for you to get things done. You know, I always say this and I mean it, make a list. First, make a list of all the things that you want or need to get done. And, you know, kind of what it does is it kind of gives you that snapshot. It allows your brain to wrap around what it is that you're trying to do. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna do all those things today, tomorrow, next week, but then you can look at it and see it down on paper and then think, okay, what are the essential things? What is the most important things that I want or need to get done, right? Uh, the other thing you gotta do is put a timeline restriction, right? Put a start and end time on everything you're doing. So if it's cleaning out closets, I'm gonna use this hour or these two hours and everything I can do during that time, I'm gonna get it done, you know? I'm not gonna be um, watching television, I'm not gonna be uh, distracted by other things, laundry, whatever, I am just going to wholeheartedly focus right now on this. Now remember, some of you do um, operate better with a little chaos, the TV on, uh, something going in the background, you got a lo load of laundry in, and you're doing another project at the same time. Well, then, you know, the content that I'm talking about isn't necessarily for you because you're already the multitasker who has, you know, tons of energy and gets it done. It's for those that are lacking the motivation to be productive. So these are the strategies that are gonna help you actually get it done. So putting a time restriction on it helps in that 
let's say the hour ends and you were about halfway through whatever it is you were doing, but forcing yourself to end it there and then go take a break, go out for a walk, put on your favorite show, watch another um, one episode of something and then turn it off, you know? Um, but if you, if you structure your day so that everything's getting done, you're balancing it and getting a little bit done every day, you're not gonna feel so crazy. Like you're, you're not working too much, you're not working too little. Um, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing, you know, where you're either gonna just lay around and watch TV, channel surf, or play games all day, but you're also not gonna work yourself to um, until you're exhausted and feel like absolutely sick of it. So if you keep it in balance, you're gonna feel a lot better. Um, you're not gonna get like worn out or stressed in any one area. Um, you're not gonna have those guilty feelings of not getting anything done. And little by little, you're chopping away at things. So not knowing what you need to do or how many things you, you wanna do or accomplish, you know, you're gonna structure your list and your day a little differently. But, you know, have this like a little itinerary of what you're gonna be doing, you know, what time you're gonna be doing it, even meals. Now, if you live alone, this is very easy to do. If you have family and or friends, roommates, I know that you're kind of maneuvering around them. And so you wanna be as proactive as you can so that when you have to be reactive, it's not such a shift to your day, right? So if it's, you get 85% done of what you wanted to accomplish or what you set out to do, you're still ahead of the pack. So think about that guys, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you again soon.